Hello Capricorn! Welcome to your reading for the second half of April 15th to the 31st. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, please keep in mind guys that this is a general reading so please take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Um, I am available for personal readings, private readings. Um, if there's anything that comes up in these general readings that piques your fancy, uh, piques your interest and you want to get more information on it, um, you can definitely email me. All of the readings that I offer in the description box below um, can be applied to more than just a romantic soulmate, twin flame, love relationship. It can be applied to any situation that you would like greater clarity on. All right, so let's get into this. Okay, Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Capricorns, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Capricorn during this time period of April 15th to the 31st. Thank you so much, Spirit. So Capricorn, you had a bit of a, a, a rough reading for the beginning of the month. Um, it was entitled Protection is uh, Imperative. So let's, let's, let's see what comes up for you for the second half of your month. Hopefully things have been able, you've been able to, uh, I don't know, iron things out maybe. Maybe you were successful in protecting yourself. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> let's just see what the cards say, yeah? Capricorn. Capricorn. One more shuffle for you, Capricorn, and then we'll get into this. Okay, let's cut the deck here. All right. Okay, so we have the Two of Cups. This feels nice. Um, I feel like union, bonding, coming together, mostly coming together with the self here. Um, I'm feeling reconciliation also is either in the works or is being um, contemplated, maybe thought about, planned out maybe. Um, reconciliation is a big message I'm getting with this card, but also I'm getting more of a reconciliation within the self, not necessarily just with somebody else. We have the Three of Swords in reverse. We have the Princess of Wands in reverse. And then we have the King of Cups in reverse um, underneath all of that. So um, while... While the the Two of Cups upright is a positive card, we do have all of these um, reversals around it. But I just want to point out that it may not necessarily be what it may look like on the surface, okay? Um, what I'm picking up here is, yes, reconciliation is still in the works. We're still talking about some sort of reconciliation for you, Capricorn. Um, this very well could be you um, reconciling with yourself, coming to terms with some things. Like right now, a scenario I'm picking up on is the princess or the page of wands um, energy is like an old way of being for you. Um, you may have come to a certain realization about certain things, maybe about spirituality. This could be sexual in nature. Um, like it's like you embarked on a new, a new path and, um, in regards to something that you're passionate about, um, a realization about yourself or spirituality or just your reality in general. Um, and either it led to Three of Swords energy or it was born out of the realization of certain Three of Swords energies around you. And so now you're going through a period where things are, uh, things could be leveling out with the Two of Cups. I'm just seeing balance in relation to something that is represented here by the Princess of Wands or the Page of Wands and the Three of Swords. And then on top of that, um, what's really driving this message of some sort of self-reconciliation is the King of Cups in reverse. So the King of Cups in reverse can talk about um, an emotionally manipulative person or uh, a manipulative, excuse me, person or situation. What I'm really picking up on is some sort of sexual promiscuity, um, uh, some sort of sexual uh, deviation as, and I do put it in air quotes um, because, you know, that that's kind of subjective. But what I really mean here is some sort of destructive emotional state or reality. And um, 
the, the silver lining here is that the Two of Cups is saying some sort of reconciliation is coming. Now, in relation to the last reading um, for you, Capricorn, and I'm going to, because I'm getting, picking up this energy too, this King of Cups in reverse um, is symbolizing someone. It's symbolizing um, whatever this person is. So I'm, I'm hearing a patriarch, a patriarchy of some sort. Um, and I remember in your last reading, we were talking about how there was some sort of battle over an estate. Um, and I know that there's someone that I connected with recently who I did a reading for. And in fact, there was a member of, in her family that was kind of the ringleader here. Um, and so I'm picking up on that energy um, in a way, and it's this is in a general sense. So, so there are more than there are quite a few of you that are going through something like that. So there could be some sort of uh, family figure who is very prominent within the family, m maybe pretty dominant, um, masculine in energy, um, that you may be going through some sort of reconciliation with somehow, or there's some sort of healing. If you're not reconciling with this person, then the reconciliation is coming within in some sort of healing and balancing out of the situation, some sort of understanding that's being come to uh, regarding that situation, okay? So let's get into your storyline here. Starting you off with the Nine of Swords and the Chariot. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling like there's anxiety. It, it, and this anxiety is coming from moving forward. There are some of you that are feeling like you really need to move forward from a situation, which is represented here by the chariot. Moving forward into a situation that's much better um, suited for, to you emotionally. So when it comes to um, this reconciliation that we're talking about, if this reconciliation isn't in the physical realm as in with another person, it is within yourself. And you're realizing that you need to now remove yourself from this situation um, in order for you to feel better, in order you, for you to really heal. But unfortunately, it's not coming without any sort of anxiety. And that's because, number one, you feel like this situation is haunting you anyway. But at the same time, like say if this involves a family member or a close friend, a very close friend or something like that, maybe even a business uh, situation. You're feeling the anxiety around knowing that you just need to remove yourself from the situation. Okay. In other cases, there could be anxiety around um, a physical re reconciliation with somebody. You know you need to move in this direction towards this reconciliation, but it's kind of it's haunting you a little bit. Um, you may be having daydreams or nightmares about how the situation may go, and it may not um, be represented in a positive way in your thoughts. Um, but either way, you know that this is a direction that you either want to or need to move in, moving forward in your life, okay? Next, we have the Hermit with the Four of Wands. So good. Okay, so now for those of you that are really... Um, reconciliation was just repeated in my head. So this this is really about reconciliation and this, and this um, realization that you need to reconcile or something needs to happen is coming from within, from this hermit energy. And for those of you that are afraid um, or fearful of how this might transpire, I'm getting specifically for those of you that are, that are, that are fearing or anxious about the fact that you need to just um, put some a good amount of distance between you and someone else or a situation understand that this this desire to move in this direction for you is very much rooted and grounded and has a strong foundation in um, instruction from your higher self in um, um, guidance from your heart from your center from the from from within okay so please don't feel like if if maybe you're afraid that you know you thinking you need to put distance between you and this person or situation you might be thinking it's coming from a place of ego it's really not it's coming from a place of a connection with yourself and understanding what it is you need to do to move forward for yourself to be happy whole and healthy okay but either way, uh, this is, I mean, you've got a good foundation here with the Four of Wands. Um, I do feel like a success or a victory will be coming to you in some sort of way in relation to this situation as it plays out. Moving forward, we have Temperance. Balance. Yeah, this is good. This is very, very good. You have some really nice 
cards coming up here so far. As, uh, of course, except for the, the, the Nine of Swords. But, <laughs> but anyway, um, the Nine of Swords really isn't that much of a concern for me right now. It's really just talking about, you know, just being a little bit anxious. Excuse me. Um, so with Temperance and the Four of Pentacles, this is definitely speaking to all people that are going through some sort of reconciliation. But this reconciliation is coming from the release of holding on to something, some part of your reality, maybe even maybe some thought patterns that have helped you create the reality that you see in, 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 your, in your current um, moment. Um, temperance is here helping you release whatever it is you've been holding on to. Okay. Now, in relation to uh, in relation to people that are dealing with some sort of estate, you could be coming to the realization that this is not really something that you want to fight for anymore. Just just because it's really not even worth it. If there are funds involved in some way, I do remember that did come up for some people in the beginning of the month. If there are funds, um, and I actually, I'm sorry to cut myself to to stop again, but also I'm being drawn to say this. There was someone that left. A comment about um, you know losing a job and wanting your job back here what I'm seeing is um, temperance is helping you balance out the hermit energy is helping you come to some inner realizations and now you're in a place where you're okay with letting whatever has fallen out of your reality you're letting it go um, you're not really holding on to it because honestly holding on to whatever is trying to be removed from your reality is only going to, number one, make things more difficult for you, but number two, is going to keep you in this cycle of generating this sort of energy over and over and having to deal with this over and over again. And the energy of temperance here is giving you the ability to really just release this. Whatever this four of pentacles in reverse is symbolizing for you, just let it go. There's no reason to hold on to it anymore. You don't need it in your reality anymore. It's really not going to be a benefit to you to hold on to it. So really just let it go. And in doing that, you are helping to facilitate reconciliation within because then you have created more space for you to be your true authentic self and to manifest the things that will be in greater alignment and greater vibration to who you truly are and what you truly want to do in your life, okay? Next in your storyline, we have the Ace of Swords in reverse with the Hierophant in reverse. Um, this is speaking to... Uh, this is speaking to a lot of different things. The first thing I picked up on was um, there was a, a realization, something came forward, maybe, maybe Capricorn, you um, said something to somebody um, you spoke up about something or someone spoke up about something to you and I'm seeing that it wasn't received well, but what I'm seeing here is this was in relation to a conventional situation here with your Hierophant and that's in reverse. So it's not like this was really of uh, merit or integrity. There really wasn't much integrity in this situation. Um, it was like a twisted, a, a twisted form of, um, um, hierarchy is what I'm coming is what I'm seeing here and either you've come to this realization Capricorn or you've brought this to someone's attention or you're you might be refusing to see it it might not be too clear to you right now um, I'm just I'm really picking up that there's some sort of conventional situation around you Capricorn that is just it's not going to turn around and you may feel like you want to be someone, be of service in a way. This is how I literally just heard it. Be of service in some way to help turn this right side up. But to be honest, it is a fruitless endeavor is what I just heard. You're kind of wasting your time here. So it really is a matter of um, uh, really holding on to the energy of temperance and the hermit right now in order to release this from your reality because it does not serve you well and it's not going to serve you well. So it really just needs to be removed from your situation. Next, we have the Fool in reverse, which is funny. It's right under the Chariot and the Nine of Swords. So that makes sense because we were talking about how there's some fear or anxiety in moving forward in a, in a different direction, whether that be towards reconciliation with a, in a physical sense with another person or reconciliation within yourself, knowing you need to leave something behind you. The Fool in reverse here is kind of confirming that you're feeling weird about it. But hey, look at, what, look at that. But then the, then the sun comes out and says, hey, it's okay. 
Just move forward in this direction. You don't have to be afraid. The universe will catch you when you fall, okay? You must stay in alignment with yourself because if you're staying in alignment with yourself, then you know you're moving in the right direction. Uh, something that I've been telling a lot of people lately while doing um, personal readings is that um, a great way to understand how and what you're manifesting is to t is to use your emotions as your compass, okay? If you're moving in a direction that feels good to you, continue moving in that direction. If you feel at any moment while you're on this path that you're moving in a direction that now no longer makes you feel good, stop immediately, reassess, and find that direction that will continue to, that will continue to help you Feel, to make you feel good as you move through it and then continue take on that direction rinse and repeat you know what I mean like just keep doing that over and over and over that is a great way to to really be in tune with what you're manifesting okay and that is what the Sun and the fool in reverse are saying right here all right um, just keep moving in the direction that that feels good. And I understand that your ego is gonna come into play and be like, no, you shouldn't be doing this, this isn't right, blah, 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 these are your family, or this is this this person is X, Y, and Z to you. But look, if they if if the if the relationship or the circumstance, the situation is no longer benefiting you, if you no longer feel it's right for you, if you no longer feel good in interacting with this situation, then move on. There's no reason not to move on. You have every right to let this go, Capricorn, okay? Moving forward, we have the Seven of Cups in reverse uh, with the Hangman in reverse. So there was a lot of confusion around this situation, and it puts you in a Hanged Man state. Um, you didn't really know what to do. You had so many options in front of you, and you were... And I'm picking up that for a lot of you, you were in this Seven of Cups state because... You were trying to be a good person or what is considered to be a good person. You didn't want to step out of line. You didn't want to shake the foundation. You didn't want to rock the boat. But at the same time, you were being inauthentic in that state. And it was putting you in a hanged man state. And it really wasn't a good thing because you were just in suspension for the sake of suspension. <laughs> is basically how it feels to me right now. But with these two cards in reverse, you're finally coming out of that. And right with it falling right under the Hierophant and, I'm sorry, the, the Hermit and the Four of Wands, which are both upright, um, this coming out of this Seven of Cups and Hanged Man state is being facilitated by this connection that you have with yourself, this balance that you're coming into with yourself and starting to understand more of your inner truths so that you can, you know, be happier. Um, so that's really good. I, I really do like seeing the Seven of Cups and the Hanged Man in reverse in this situation because you're coming out of this this state. And for some of you that were, that were uh, resonating with that message of some sort of a state or, you know, someone was trying to, hide something from you or cheat you out of it you really are just letting it go at this point especially like with the three of swords and the page of wands in reverse you're letting go of this heartbreak you're seeing that it's really not even worth it to fight for this anymore and it may feel like you're giving in or you're getting giving up and you're letting whoever that was trying to control the situation win but at the same time you are actually winning out more because you're following your inner guidance. You're removing yourself from a toxic situation. And you know what? If that's what they want, let them deal with that. Because honestly, karma is paid, repaid in kind. What you put out into the universe will eventually come back to you threefold, right? So just let them deal with the karma. And don't even, don't even remove yourself from the, from the situation with intentions of having them suffer through whatever karma is going to come, come their way or because of this situation. Just let it go in peace and love and be like, look, I learned a valuable lesson here. I'm going to take this lesson that I learned and I'm going to move forward with my life and I wish you the best on your path. There really doesn't need to be any sort of animosity, um, anger, resentment, none of that. Just let that go because ultimately if you are holding on to that as you move forward with the chariot energy, in essence you're just going to be recreating that kind of situation because you're still resonating at that level, vibrating at that level with it. So really just let it all go and move forward with peace and love in your heart and respect for the people that you were interacting with. Yeah. All right, next Capricorn, we have the Ten of Swords in reverse with the Two of Wands in reverse. So, okay, this is talking about, um, again, this is talking about what the Seven of Cups in reverse was saying. You were at a state where you no longer wanted to be backstabbed. You no longer wanted to be dealing with this mental anguish. 
but you were conflicted about how to get yourself out of it, how to move forward with the situation. But again, we have more release happening. It's like, okay, you're done hanging on to this Ten of Swords energy. It's like, I really feel like Capricorn, you were at this point where you, on an internal level, you were you were ready to just like be done with the situation. But then the 3D ego mind got into the way and was keeping you stuck from moving on to the Ace of Swords. Why? Because the Ace of Swords here is saying to you, it's in reverse, and it's saying to you, look, they're never going to change. They're not going to get it, at least not anytime soon. Or if they do get it, it most likely is not going to come from you. But quite frankly, it doesn't really need to come from you. If you have to, if you feel like you really have to force the situation, it's not worth it. Okay? Just say your piece or do your thing and be on your way. You don't have to worry about hanging back until they get the message. You know what I mean? Like that's not even worth your time or your effort. So now here again, this is another representation of you coming out of this confusion, this indecisiveness. Um, the two of wands is really talking about you had a very passionate um, fire within you to see justice played out here. Um, but there was no clear path to get towards it. There wasn't. And you were, you were spinning your wheels for quite some time trying to understand how you could bring this, bring this to fruition, uh, bring this inspiration, this aha moment to these, to these people or this circumstance, but it's not worth it. Literally, these two cards are saying to me, it's just not worth it. So just let it go and move on. And it's funny because this is this is falling right under the Four of Pentacles and Temperance. Temperance has finally been able to come into your life and balance this stuff out so that you could see it from a clearer picture from your point of view, not necessarily just from theirs, from your own point of view. And now you're coming to the point where it's like, yeah, I really just need to drop this. It's not worth it anymore. Yeah. Finally, Capricorn, in your storyline, we have... The Queen of Cups, oh, upright, with the Emperor. Okay, all right. So this is good. This is really a sense of balance here for you, Capricorn. Um, I'm seeing you are being represented, even though the Queen of Cups is a water sign, you are being represented by the Queen of Cups here because you have come to an emotional maturity, a level where it's like, okay, now you're balanced out in your emotions, but you're not really, you're, it's not like you're hiding them, but you're not putting them out on display. There are no big... Um, there are no big uh, uh, dramatic flares. It's not. It's 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 a matter of you being uh, you understanding where you are emotionally and keeping that intact, keeping it balanced and safe. And then with the emperor here, you're really like you're taking control of your life. You're giving yourself a little bit of tough love in this sense. In that it's like you're saying to yourself, "No, I need to move on." I am taking control of my life. I am taking control of my reality. I am doing what is best for me and not necessarily what's going to be best for these other people around me that quite frankly don't have my best interest in mind. So I'm just gonna take all that. I'm gonna take the lessons I've learned. I'm going to cut the cord and I'm just going to move forward. And no one's gonna stop me, period. Okay, that's what, and that, honestly, that's, this really feels like a very empowering state for you, Capricorn. Like I know this situation that we're talking about here could have, was, was really dangerous um, energetically, maybe even physically, was draining, tiring, was just like, uh, on the surface, it seemed to be a really awful, icky situation, but it has definitely helped you become stronger, helped you become more independent and grounded in who you are and what you need for yourself to be happy. And I'm very proud of you. I feel very, very proud of you that you've been able to come out of this situation with this realization. It's really, it's really quite a beautiful transformation for you, Capricorn. So yay. <laughs> I'm glad we got a good, um, a, a really nice ending to this situation for you because to be quite honest, when I was doing that first reading for you in the beginning of April, I was a little concerned. Not a little. I was quite concerned. Um, I really felt like that a lot of you were in some sort of danger. But at the same time, now I'm seeing that actually, no, this was a good, this was a very, very good lesson for you in self-care, self-realization, and um, assertiveness, taking control of your life and taking your power back. So again, I'm very proud of you, Capricorn. Congratulations. All right, guys. So there it is. I hope this was helpful for you, and I look forward to connecting with you guys for the first half of May. Yeah? Take care. Much love to you all. Bye.